How about that, y'all? Hello, everybody. My name's Danny S. Hodges, and today I'm going to show you how to make the, the hybrid TV antenna. And what that is, is this half of this ultimate antenna, which, son, this right here, this right here is, this antenna is bad to the bone. I mean, I went and put one up yesterday. Somebody already had one up. They done, they done spent I don't know how much money, and all they was getting was four public channels, and I put one up, and they did. They was in a bad spot, but uh, they got uh, uh, 15 channels with the, with the uh, ultimate antenna. Okay, and this right here is the uh, is the Hooverman, and this is a good antenna. Now I had never compared these side by side, and uh, but you know I might do that one one of these days. I know they're pretty close, but uh, but this right here is the one I started out building. That's how I got all my jigs set up, and I guess that's how I'm gonna continue doing it, even though this Hooverman is easier to make, and it is easier to make. I want to clear that up, what I was talking about, that antenna a while ago. They had a store-bought antenna. The man told me they had done, tried two different antennas, and all they could get was in public stations. And I was talking about 15 channels. 20 channels is all we can get in our area. We ain't like y'all can get 550 channels. All right, I'm going to show y'all some interesting stuff. You know, y'all heard me say whenever I was making this thing right here, I said, I ain't going to be using mine. Now, let me tell you why. This right here costs $9. And this right, these things right here that I use cost a dollar. You might want to lay yours down and make sure you're hitting good, you know, hitting right. But, uh... See, this has got to be added on to, but I don't know how much to add on to yet. You'll understand it. Y'all see all this paper out here? Some of you know what I'm doing because of Twitter. But, uh, man, I got a lot going on. I know more, uh, I reckon start out the center right here. You know that don't matter. You ever thought you was cutting the camera on and realized it was already on and you cut it off afterwards? All right, here's where I'm at. I had done put this on there, and what I done, see, I didn't know where this was going to hit at because, hell, I ain't made one. But this is going to have a hat, see? And uh, I, made, I made this where... It'll fit this just right, man. It's just got to be straight. But uh, what I'm going to do, what the hell, why don't I show you? And I want y'all to share my videos on Facebook, too. Uh, man, I want y'all to help me out. I know you can. Man, y'all got some hellacious power right at your fingertips. You could make me a superstar overnight. And I helped a bunch of y'all out. Now, I ain't doing nothing fancy. And these are the ways I could do this. But I'm doing it in, in the kind of way that that you, you know, that that you can relate to easy. You know, I do stuff all the time, like the hard way, you know, just so I can show y'all, show y'all, you know, uh, how it's done, like, I got that welder, man, I could do, I could do stuff so easy, man. Okay, see this? Now, you see, you see how we're turning out right here? And it's just a matter of, 
uh, straighten it up. And, and uh, way about done, y'all. I am gonna try this. If 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 you see this video, you know it's working. But uh, I'm gonna try it anyway. All right, uh, like I say, straighten that up. This is supposed to be a quarter of an inch. And you see on my other video that that I made a a, a different kind of high hat. I'm gonna try this. You can make that other that other kind if you want to. But that right there, I would have bet it ain't no way in hell that that would make VHF come in better. But I mean it's it's unbelievable good. Now the piece that goes right here on the bottom and here, I got it cut a little bit short. You know why? It's uh three and seven eighths inches long, but that'll put you in the ball game of of, of getting it adjusted out. You might have to go in some, might have to go out some, but it's gonna put you right there at this. And I got to straighten all this up some. Y'all y'all know that. Now, I've had a bunch of pictures sent to me. But there's a man from Texas. He sent me a picture. And damn if he helped me, a man, he can make them better than I can. And uh, he's selling them. And you spend one night watching my videos? And hell, you can be a damn expert. Uh... I make a pile of money doing this. I ain't joking. Look here. Put, put your uh, put your piece in. Every how much you want hanging out. And then uh, you will see on in that other video about how I doing all this, and what size of everything to use it where. And you have to know, man, or, or it's just a hellacious guess. But in that other video, I show you all that. Hey, I decided I might ought to show you. Uh, this this pipe right here, it slides over this, and then this pipe right here slides inside this pipe. That's why this right here is like this. And man, this damn thing's heavy as rip, man, with with all that uh, tripled up uh, PVC. All right, I'm fitting a uh, later reflector on it. Now I'm going to uh, center the reflector up. And this reflector, y'all, it it makes as much difference as using a booster. Now, I mean, some of you don't need it, you know. But uh, it, work the town I live in, you, you couldn't even, we couldn't even, uh, it wouldn't, this thing wouldn't work without it. And I also want to tell y'all something else, and I've told y'all this before. The, the distance right here that this is, it ain't near about the the distance it needs to be for the reflector. It's the damn exact distance. And don't think it don't matter because it does. <clears throat> All right, you see, I got my transformer on here. I put it in the center. I want y'all to look at this picture right here. This video this video I got right here is the most overlooked video on the internet. It explains me making that ultimate antenna real good. And uh, I reckon it's a little intimidating, the rods and all. Maybe y'all just don't want that kind. But listen to the, the, uh, the directions and everything that I'm talking about making it. And... Man, it's, it's, it's on the money.
I'm fitting to try this antenna. I realized I didn't really show y'all a real good view of this. And uh, so here it is. And I've already done got out here and messed with it a little. And uh, which I done took my laptop back in the house. But anyway, this right here is a good one, y'all. And I also want to tell you this right here. I've, I've been thinking about it a long time, a long time. I already, I, I got another antenna, never seen, never seen before, that will blow every antenna I got away. And so you might want to subscribe. And, and y'all know, y'all know how I am. Y'all know I tell it like it is. Here it is, y'all. I got it set up, and you know that way is 60 miles to Macon, Georgia. I have tried it, and uh, I'll show you. I got the TV out here. One man, uh, he said he wanted he wanted an antenna that he didn't have to watch it on a laptop. So this video is just for him. Uh, <laughs> he thought because I was watching on the laptop, you couldn't watch it on TV. But I did try that antenna upside of this one right here. This antenna was already out here. I done got tired, y'all. I figured I did need to tell you the this hybrid antenna beat this antenna on the ground. And the the TV did get every channel. It just started raining. I was trying to do the scan. It started raining. And uh here's the uh, uh TV. I ain't gonna do no scan. Uh, I'm, I've, I've had enough for one day, but I want y'all to share my video on Twitter and Facebook. All right, everybody, y'all, y'all subscribe. Y'all, I told you, I got a hell of an antenna coming up, and this is a good one here. This is a good one, and this is that tough channel, you know, that, that, uh, VHF channel, you know, that we have, that, you know, here. That's what everybody wants to make sure that they get, you know, that that channel there. Hey, y'all, it's, it's kind of drizzling rain. I'll see y'all next time.